every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would part. Oh, folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my football match, the Twitter Twitter game save, the journeyman, the road to Ewood. We are here with uh, Odebo out in Sweden for the start of a brand new season, boys and girls. Playing new transfers and all that kind of good stuff. Fresh start, me and the board, we've had a chat, we've had a sit down. Uh, we've kind of cleared the air a little bit. So we went from an F all the way up to a C plus, boys and girls. And I think we are into some exciting times, boys and girls. Exciting times because all they expect is a top half finish. I can guarantee. I can guarantee that bad boy. Um, so we've uh, we can start the, the brand new season today. Just the one, the, just the one match today because you've got a whole bunch to catch up on. We have played uh, our part in the uh, in the Swedish Cup. We'll show you those goals in a minute. But before then, let's take a look at the ins and outs and all that kind of good stuff. So let's take a look at the finances. We are looking pretty healthy in the old financial department, which is good. Uh, five point five million pounds in the bank. Still got. A transfer kitty of 3.2 million. Uh, we have bought in a whole host of players. Uh, there was even some news articles saying there's a massive clear out going on at Udebel, and uh, we're going to show you them right here, right now. There is a there is a mega a mega transfer in there, but there's also a lot of uh, youthful products coming in there. Uh, so let's take a look at them. So I focus in on the uh, right hand side for the time being. In fact, can we go back a little bit? Uh, so. In fact, uh, okay, so let's take a look at the uh, outs first and foremost. A lot of low knees have gone out. Ergen Zvulza is a Kosovo Kosovonian uh, youngster. Nothing really special. He's gone out on loan to Northumberland FF. Uh, also out on loan is Oscar Falenanis, another one of the youngsters. Let's not get, let's not too sweat about that one too much. Uh, Alfred Stahl's gone out on a free to Berger. Just got rid of him. He wasn't, he wasn't going to go anywhere with us. Uh, so he's gone out the door. Simon Schmidt. He's gone out for Acropolis on loan. He's a decent little uh, option, and he could get very, very good in the next year or so. So we're looking to to get him on it. Uh, then we did cash in on some players. Uh, Basard Sabavovic. He's gone to the Macedonian uh, defensive midfielder, also a defender. He did play a few games for us last season, um, and he's been very, very active since he's left. Because we obviously we checked out around about what December. It's been four months now since we've actually kicked a ball proper. So he's gone. It was part of a wage cut uh, mentality, as has. Joe Allen, yeah, he's gone off to, to Greece for Panathinaikos. Uh, he was an okay player for us. 6.89 average. Uh, he's gone on to do okay things over in Greece. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a bit of a giveaway, 105 grand. But again, he was on three grand a week. He was one of our highest paid players. And to be honest with you, I don't think he contributed that, that much to us last season. So I thought, you know what, ta-ta for now. I know, of course... Well, I'm not, I was going to go there. The pace is gone, but wait till you see some of the the mega star that's arrived. Omar Darobi has also gone to Vastberger BioS, uh, another youngster. I don't think he's going to cut it uh, for us, uh, so he's off on his travels. Um, Hussein Ali is. I was tipping him to go at, on at right back for us this season, uh, but he's gone on loan to Ranheim. 21 year old C, uh, Swedish fellow. He's also. Uh, I think he's. Uh, uh, nope, I thought he was Syrian, but it's not. Uh, the, the name Ali threw me off. Also, the big money signing left is Nicholas Bergmark. He's gone to Ingolstadt out in uh, in Germany's Zweite Bundesliga. He is a decent young option, and I'm th expecting big things from him. Probably break to the Swedish team uh, this season. So yeah, it was he was our main man at right back. Uh, it wasn't a phenomenal, but uh, you know what? He'd been moaning uh, at the back end last season for him to go uh, to make a move. And Jake Maguire, the uh, backup American goalkeeper, has gone on loan to. Uh, Dal Kurd FF. Um, also, I think we binned off a few players as well. Released uh, Alba back. He retired. He packed it in. He's now available as a director of football. Not on my watch, buddy. Uh, Johan Martinson as well. He's also retired. Uh, 34 years of age. He's available as a coach. David Seagar's also gone. Yeah, not really fussed about it. He's not a bad player, actually. Uh, Nadid Ayu. Yeah, it's a striker available out there as well. Formerly of Karlsruhe. And um, uh, Rovmas Brolin, um, young goalkeeper. He's now at uh, Iskilmin AIF. So he's gone. And also... Admin German Hendon is gone as well, out on low, uh, on a freebie. So those are the players out. What about the players in? Well, there's been a whole host of players coming in. 
sketch us some popcorn folks so here we go a lot again a lot of these bought in for the reserves and that because i do have control over that i'm trying to bring in a whole new uh, a raft of flares so nicholas hedenvind has come in he's a right back he could actually compete for right back because that's our weakest spot i think at the moment uh we're bought in from F ifk haringa uh the second division uh SSC had a phenomenal season last season seven goals as a as a, as a well a right-sided player i should say he could play anywhere down the right hand side good options as well good technicals uh 18 years of age could be very very handy again Again, only up to four star though. Uh, also brought in Mikkel Helsbursch. Um, he's actually in the reserves as well. Look at him, potentially go up to five star. I think the scouts uh, picked him out. Uh, not bad technicals as well. A lot of double digits knocking about. Um, he can play anywhere in the in the middle, sort of third here on the right hand side and down the middle. And again, one for the one maybe in two years we'll, we'll see the best out of Helberg. He's on the he's on the fringes. Uh, Martin Johansson. I think he's a defender. Yep, he's actually in the reserves as well. He's actually wanted to go out on loan. Uh, and we might consider that. Not great technicals, um, but he's still a decent option. I think he had, again, I think I gobbled him up because he had an okay season uh, in the lower tier. So, yeah, he's of a decent age, Martin Jonsson. Uh, Oscar Falhus, a uh, Swedish uh, youngster as well. He's gone out on loan to Brom Makana. We've already seen that, I think, on the loan. Uh, he had an okay season as well in the lowest, lower tier. Five goals, four assists, 6.80 uh, average. Uh, Goblin map 165k might have been a bit a bit of money on that one. Uh, and there, yeah, look at this fella, Bass from the past. Yes, the jokester. Yes, Joker Line, and I gobbled him up on a free. You know, he was the bane of my existence for AC Ulu, double digit man for four four other past well, the past four years as well. So he is a handy bit of something. He's already scored five goals for us in the Swedish Cup. He is my main man now up top. Um, he's still he's not the greatest player, but 23 years of age. Uh, you know what? He could be very, very handy uh, for us out in this tier. So I'm, I'm expecting goals from him. Again, that was our, our, our weakness last season, goals. Uh, so he's come in to fire us up the top. What about this guy? Familiar face. Maurizio Pochettino. That's right, Pucci's boy. Uh, couldn't, couldn't keep away. Couldn't keep away. I brought him in, in there. Obviously, had an okay season out on loan at FC Hacker. We know from EIF. Uh, he's on the reserves as well. Maybe, hopefully, get into the first team soon. Because uh, he's an unfinished project. project. Uh, Juhani Pekarenen, uh, another Finnish guy I brought in. I uh, had him on my hit list. Uh, and again, looking to improve my defensive uh, depth. Uh, a solid, solid centre-back. Not the best season last season. But, uh, again, he's, he's of a decent age as well. Uh, Kenneth Hammerstadt uh, has come in under 19, 19 years old. Yeah, might, be, might, have, might have spunked some money up on this bad boy. But potentially four stars if he has a good uh, couple seasons training. Not bad season in the second uh, division north. So that's why I gobbled him up as well. Um, Hugo Nalslud. Uh, I brought this fella in. He's actually uh, he's actually playing games, and he's he's, he's a uh, he's in a, he's, a, he's in the conversation to start regularly. Can play a whole host of players uh, positions. Eight goals, four assists, seven point two average. He's had a, he's had a seven point one average of the past three of the past five seasons. Ain't too shabby, and he can play all over the place and even up top if we need him to go there. So he's a good versatile player. Like it, uh, Ivan Van der Broek. He's a Belgian centre back. Again, hot prospect. Uh, could go as high as five stars. Not this year though. Seventeen years of age we'll keep an eye on him as he develops uh what did i pick him up for free was it free 53k gobble him up bargains bargains ikhmed jabali's tunisian again this guy has got the makings of something special as well he's in the reserves as well give him another year and i think we'll have him uh in the uh, uh, owning that defensive midfield slot yes looking forward to jabali stepping in the place sebastian wichichi is a, a defender could play anywhere across the back line Potential five star, 19 years old. Uh, he's, he's wanted already to go out on loan, which that may happen. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not very, I've got much cover on the right. Um, Jorginho, Juninho, boys and girls. Loney pulled my trick out again. Got, got, got him on loan from Flamingo. Uh, he's in the reserves. Got him for Nout. Uh, five star potential. Look at him. Look at those stats. Great first touch. He's, he's not had the, the greatest star. Played him on the substitute. That's about it. But we'll see if he can get some regular game time soon. So Jorginho is in. Uh, we also brought in Ruan as a goalkeeper Brazilian. I uh, had a bit of flack from the board on this one, but uh, I think he's got some uh, capabilities and he could do okay uh, over in Schweden as backup. Uh, again, brought in this fellow. We know him. Sirio Jao. He was uh, brought in on loan at EIF. Again, I didn't get to see him uh, in his full potential, but he did have a good old 
whole season there as a regular left back. And again, he's going to be competing with Grandulas at left back. Gilson is another one. I actually bought this guy in completely. He's in the reserves. He, oh, he's owned by us. Uh, he was on loan at uh, FC Lacti and also went out in China. Um, he's, he's one for the future as well. Could potentially go up as high as three and a bit stars. Getting on a bit 20 years of age, though. Not too shabby. Peter Sulman, uh, a Nigerian youngster. Again, could go as high as five stars. He is actually in the makings uh, of, of breaking into the team already. I uh, just got to see how he, how he uh, if he can oust the Kirk or Bjork at this meantime. So Peter Solman, Alexis Sanchez, that's right, the veteran, 34 years of age, phenomenal mentals, phenomenal technicals. The physicals are a little bit on the on the way down. Played him as a substitute a couple of times. Got one assist so far. I uh, tried to talk him out of uh, retirement, but it ain't going well. So Sanchez is in. Uh, Nicholas Powell, that's right, of course uh, Joe Allen went and he did some sort of English face, he hasn't got the pace anymore but he's still got technicals and mentals uh, his emergency backup, he probably he doesn't really want to play that any games, his heart's not in it but I think he, I can still squeeze something out of him uh, this season, so Nick Powell, Alexis Sanchez, they're the big faces to join us, Jesper Iskinson uh, another big signing, Norwegian, youngster 23 years of age, can play anywhere in the midfield also up top if we need him, again he started pretty, pretty handy, 6.95 average in the cup, uh uh, you know what I mean. Look, the stats are just there. Just, just soak them up. Just bet it's concerned. Um, and uh, Sergio Turo, this one was a bit of a bust. I needed a right back. He is ass. I don't know what's going on wrong, wrong there. I think it was my last signing, actually. Yeah, and that is it. So that's the signings. Now, what's going on in the Swedish Cup? Well, we uh, we made it through to the semi-finals, and this is how we got there. We opened it up with a 2-1 win against Douche Gardens. Uh, and here come them goals, baby. Here come the goals. Dutch Gardens took the lead through Jeremy Jeff. That's right, with this uh, goal. Easy pickings. No questions asked. But up stepped Urubu, uh just after halftime. Grandulous with the cross comes out. Picked up by Hellenius and Book. Of course, main man last season with the goals. Opened up his tally uh, or count this uh, season. Next up, who was this guy? It was, the, was it the jokester? Kirk with a long leaping ball. The jokester's there. And he sluts that one in. Debut goal. La la la. Then we took on Sand Vikings at their gaff. 2-0 winners. Goals coming from different points of view today uh, as the two Eriks combine. Joe Kleinen with the assist. Grandula slots that one home to make it 1-0. And then up steps uh, Eric Alexanderson. Uh, he gets away with this bad boy. Bit of a messy one. Book to Anderson. Uh, that's it, Alexanderson. Anderson smashes that one home. 2-0. And we sealed the deal to get through to the next round by beating Dalkurd 3-1. Well, the jokester got himself a couple today. Grandulous with the cross. The jokester tried to get... Look at the name of the keeper. Goodness great. I'm, I'm thinking about getting him just for the name. Monta jumped every bomb. But anyway, that was a bit of a fluke to goal. Patton makes a bit, bit of a pig's ear here. Gives away a big fat OG. Gave Dalkut a bit of a hope. Uh, but then Patton stepped up. He actually stepped up big time today uh, with a, an assist here to give us the lead once again the jokester getting his second Manchester couldn't pick it uh, he just had to pick the ball out of the net and then we wrapped it all up on the 59th minute uh, Alexis Sanchez what a ball and what a goal by Grandulous he's, he's, he's a good player is Grandulous 3-1 uh, and I thought it was all on boys and girls as we beat Hacken 4-2 quarterfinals. Muxgard gave Hacken the lead early doors on the fourth minute uh, uh, squeezing that bad boy home but up stepped Bock Book with the cross. Rudy Gaste. That's right. First goal of the season. 25th minute on the clock. Uh, Nas Glud then over to Iskerson. Book again. Slipped it in for the jokester. He got another one to his tally. That made it 2 1 and the lead for Urubo into the back end of the half here. Gaste getting involved. Joe Kalina with the cross this time. And Book smashed that one home. That's coming to be a nice little trio right there. And then we wrapped it up. Game set and match. Book this time on the breakaway. Slots the shot in. And there's the jokester with the brace. Goodness me. 4-2. In fact, there's the consolation goal for Hacken from the corner. Kroon with the shot with the goal. 4-2. And then we tumbled out to Hammerby. 2-0 out of our own place. Shambles. So, Jesper Anderson with the goal here. Branstrom with the cross. Anderson smashed that bad boy home to make it 1-0. That was uh, first, uh, second half. Bajancic, uh, free kick. MacGyver, or Magar, made it 2-0. And we crashed out, unfortunately. In the semi-final stage, the Hammerby, I don't know who won it, but uh, we're out. The final is yet to take place. It's between North Copping and Hammerby. Of course it is. Uh, but we're going to take on uh, IK Braga today. 
Um, this is our, four, our third encounter between two sides. Um, obviously, first game of the season. Exciting times, boys and girls. Exciting times. I'm hoping we can uh, show the board that we are serious and a, a good manager. They haven't they haven't wasted their time with us. We are going to get going with the boys today. Okay, folks, here we go with the starting lineup. Here we've got chance between sticks. Grandius at left back. Picking in uh, comes in for Kirk, who is suspended. Uh, Bjork, Patton, Anderson. Book on the left. Hel Helenus on the right. I'm going to pull him in a minute. Nasludd and Isaacson with Joker Linen up top. That doesn't sit. That doesn't sit right with me. Uh, I think Isaacson can go on the right. Uh, we will stick the big man, Rudy Gestead, up the top there. Uh, and on the bench, we need to change it up a little bit. We've got to get some more Swedish folks in here uh, to, to keep the peace a little bit. You're coming out. And um, Nick Powell, you're going to sidestep for this fella. That should give us the green light. Yes, it does. Uh, I think I think that's good enough. Let's get going. Now, these boys might be new to the division, I think, um, but there ain't no slouches. Uh, I want, you know, I, I, I'm very, very nervous uh, about my team. I'm not convinced yet. I've got my, my, my 11 sorted out, but this is the boys to start it. Let's see how they get on. So here we go. Udebo up against AK Bregg. Corner, Anderson plays it in, headed towards goal, Bumblebee, Nicholas Tucker line, and the jokester scores again within the first three minutes. That's why he was so frustrating in Finland. So frustrating. He's right there at the right time. Pfft, no effort in that whatsoever. Uh, but it just adds another to it. Another feather in his cap. Uh, for the jokester, Grandius with the throw-in. Long loop in effort. The jokester's there. Is it going to get bumbled over the line? No, it's not. It's cleared. It's goal line clearance. We are turning the screw already within the first 12 minutes. Uh, we have had one, uh, maybe two, well, one in, of course. The second was close. Robbie Williams uh, for the opposition here. A bit of pressure, maybe. Svedberg keeps it back to Robbie Williams. Uh, the manager's on the touchline looking on in their suits. Uh, Ruby, oh, at the Svedberg over the top to Sejadu. Sejadu crosses, it's headed, cleared. Only as far as matey boy, Cornelius Bensick. And that makes it all pissing square. Ugh. So that lead lasted, what? 10 minutes, something like that. So I just, I, it's, it's my goalie. I, I hate him. I hate him with a passion. Pattern with a throw uh, to Gusted, the old EIF connection. And there's the jokester, but this time he is stricken off offside. Um, that would have been great. Would have been great if we could have got that second goal. 20 minutes in, no, still 1 1. We are. It's a bit rude that they've uh, uh, scored with only their second shot, really. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. 30 minutes in. Still 1-1. One, one. They're getting back into this game. Anderson with the free kick. Ooh, up and over. Jansen was equal to that one. But still, it's it's looking ropey. I don't like my goalkeeper. Bjork's looking a bit shippish as well. And it's 1-1 one, one at halftime. So still trying to figure out my first team here and my formation and my shape. Uh, here come the opposition with uh, matey boy Svesgars under a bit of pressure there. Pulls it back. Rubio. Oh, he's had his pocket picked. Nazlo down the line. Can we gobble it up? No. Anderson for the opposition. Out to Bjorkskjaer. Uh, ben six chicks with the with the whatever. He got the goal. The first one anyway. And Nazlo's goal. It will be stricken off. And it will be 1-1 one, one once again. Heart in mouth syndrome. Uh, Saka go. Uh, goal kick. Boots it long. Picked up by Patton. All the way back through to uh, Jansen. Concentrate, son. Concentrate. Plays it out to pick and end. The finish. Uh, the centre back out to the Grandulous. My main man lobs it forward. It's the jokester. Uses pace. Ah, I haven't got much, much pace on that shot. Goes straight in the arms of the keeper. Bjorkjar now for uh, Braga. Bensic, the goal scorer. Over the top now for Nisaru. Great shot. Patton's there to clean up the afters. And maybe we could turn it around. No, we cannot. We're into the 53rd third minute. Uh, Gested and... Uh, well, Gested looks a little bit shitty today. Um, definitely not his day. So we're going to have to think about bringing on someone else. Or are we? Are we going to give him another five minutes? Let's make the change. So, what are the options? Will Grigg? Yep, you're going to come on, son. Uh, you're a bit of a poacher. And then we've got Nazgud here, who's on a yellow. And it's time for Alexi Sanchez. That's right. Can he create something out of nothing? 75 minutes gone. 
I love a winner now. I love a little cheeky winner. Foot off. Fast, of course. Grandulous with the throw in. Long looping effort. Keeper parries. Strikes from distance. I thought that was going in. I thought it was going in. 82 minutes on the clock. There might be a winner here. Eight minutes to go. Anderson back to picking and then oh, he swoops it all the way back to Janssen. Play it safe, son. Play the right decision. Looping ball now out to Anderson who gobbles it up down the right hand side and it is Isaacson on a yellow though crosses oh the shot's terrible it's absolutely terrible oh afters there's afters but no one could put it in the back of the net Grandulous cleans up the afters seven minutes to go it doesn't look like we're going to get the winner it looks like this game is petering out to a draw I'm trying to click on the right buttons here but nothing's going to happen it's going to end 1-1 here at Udebo not the greatest start, but at least we didn't lose. And that, my friends, is where I'm going to leave you. We sit night for the table after match day number one. Uh, before I go, before we go, we'll take a little look at the, the preview here. We are actually uh, long shots. 10th temp, temp favourite to finish top of the table. We'll sit 5-1. to one. None of my players make it into the Dream 11, but that's okay. We're going to come out of nowhere and smash dot dash dot. Surprise these buggers. Um, but anyway, tomorrow, we're probably going to plough through all these games here. And come back for the Helsingborgs, um, Elfsborgs double away days. So I'll give you up to date with what's going on with this set. And hopefully we're up and running. Until then, boys and girls, be sure to give you this video some love and smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe. And I'll see you same time, same place tomorrow for some more FM20. Ciao. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.